Translation Arrangement of amino acids in a linear specific sequence and formation of polypeptide chain according to the specific sequence of information written on mRNA is called translation. Changing the code language on mRNA into the language of amino acids. Translation occurs in the cytoplasm. The primary requirements for translation process are ribosomes, mRNA, tRNA, amino acids, enzymes, ATP, GTP and specific activators. The process of translation involves 1. Activation of amino acids It's transferred to tRNA 2. Initiation of polypeptide chain 3. Elongation of polypeptide chain and 4. Chain termination 1. Activation of amino acids and its transfer to tRNA Amino acids are activated by ATP in the presence of an enzyme known as aminoacyl synthetase and linked to the cognate tRNA, a process called as charging of tRNA or aminoacylation of tRNA. As a result, aminoacyl tRNA is formed which moves towards ribosomes. AA, amino acid, and ATP, an enzyme, aminoacyl synthetase, gives AA, an AMP, an enzyme complex, and PP, pyrophosphate. AA, AMP, enzyme complex, and tRNA, gives AA, T. RNA complex, AMP, an enzyme, amino acyl, tRNA. 2. Initiation of polypeptide chain. AUG is initiation codon of mRNA. It codes for methionine. 4 mild group is attached to free amino group of methionine. The T RNA bringing formal methionine is called FMET tRNA and it acts as initiator as the anticodons of tRNA are complementary to the codons of mRNA they can develop loose hydrogen bonds with codons of mRNA ribosomes have two sites for tRNA 1. Aminoacyl or receptor site or A site. 2. Peptidyl site or P site in the larger subunit. Aminoacyl tRNA first binds to A site of ribosomes and move to P site while initiator tRNA first binds to P site. The initiator aminoacyl tRNA in the presence of mRNA combines with subunits of ribosomes. This process requires energy.